everybody, Kevin here from PK uh, with a quick and simple tip on how to get your microphone permissions working uh, on a Macintosh with League of Legends. Uh, so with this, all you're trying to do is get the permissions to show up uh, for League of Legends to allow the microphone to be used. It's actually as simple as that. And uh, the way you do that is going to be through the terminal. Now this at first seems very complicated, um, but I, I promise you, even though you have to do this to open League of Legends every time, so this is the process you'll have to follow to open League of Legends, you'll find it, it, it really isn't as um, kind of hacky as, as you think it is, and it's pretty straightforward, so I'll walk you through it. So all you're gonna need is uh, these two lines of code here, which I will link in the YouTube description and you're going to want to open your terminal. Um, so all you're going to do here is click the little magnifying glass and say, type in TERM and you'll see terminal right here. All this is is your back end of your Mac. It lets you do some commands on your Mac. Uh, pretty straightforward things. And I'll explain to you what the lines do so you feel a little less maybe concerned about doing it if you're not so savvy. Um, so all I'm doing here is I'm copy pasting the first line and all this is doing once I, so I will switch over here and then I will um, paste it over here and press enter to run it. All that this line is doing is it's changing the directory. So it's all it's doing is um, it's pointing this terminal to where your League of Legends folder is. That's all. Um, now, some people might have their League of Legends folder somewhere differently, but if you don't know what this is and you don't know where your League of Legends folder is, um, there's almost a 100% chance that this is exactly where it is and you don't have to worry about this. Uh, it's very streamlined on the Mac when you're installing stuff. Uh, next, you'll just highlight this line of code, you'll copy paste it and then into here and press enter again. Now, all that does is it's really simple. All it's doing is it's running your Mac, um, your League of Legends game. The same way when you press your League of Legends icon down here to play the game, it's just doing that, but through the terminal. So what this is actually allowing to happen is since you, without getting too complicated, you have a bit more permissions running it through the terminal. So then instead of your League app trying to um, ask for permissions, it's actually your terminal asking for permissions. Uh, now, if this is your first time, when you're going into a voice chat, you'll see a little pop-up somewhere up here um, saying, asking for the permissions, and then you'll click that. You'll only have to do that once, uh, and then you'll have permissions forever. Uh, I believe it's it's giving terminal permissions, if I'm, if I'm correct. Uh, and then now, if I, if I popped in, obviously no one's online, but if I popped in and I uh, wanted to use my microphone, my microphone would now be working and I've, I've never had a problem with it so far. Um, so it, it does seem a bit scary at first or frustrating at first, but you know, it's been quite a while that I do this. I have this actually just saved on a note somewhere. Um, and, and that's just how I've learned to open League of Legends. And uh, yeah, it's just an extra three seconds and it's pretty straightforward and it's nice to be able to talk to your friends. Uh, so I hope you enjoy that. If you did, Feel free to leave me a comment, subscribe, like, we'll do all the things that uh, can really help us um, kind of re reach more people so that people on Mac stop thinking that there's no way for them to be able to talk. Because there is now. Uh, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Thank you very much.